This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Osworn. I'm here with Jerry, uh, we're Hello. here with Jamie from Shadowborn, and it's time for the battle. So, if you've watched our earlier video, you'll have seen us working our way through the story mode. It was absolutely fantastic with the, the digital narration and stuff, I really enjoyed it. Jerry, ready? I am ready, yeah. Alright, so uh, let's quickly introduce who we are. So, uh, I am fighting with an Ursus Warbear, who is rather mean, and a priest, who is even meaner. If, yeah, we've learned that. <laughs> the most vicious person in this little <laughs> Oathsworn group is the priest. There were a few deaths, weren't there, leading yeah, up to this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we've done a few playthroughs of this now for the story mode, and the priest, yeah, he's a bit of a jackass. <laughs> Priest or player, one or the other. <laughs> I'm rocking. That was coming. Yeah, well, you know, fish bite hooks. Yeah. I've got uh, an Adendri. That's right. Uh, Ranger. Uh, she's light, nimble, mm -hmm. and uh, vicious with a bow. And I also have a warden, somebody who's mostly here to keep the uh, priest in line. Well, <laughs> you know, there was that that one night at the bar. You know, the priest ended up in jail, and you know. He had to turn up to the, the town bailiffs the next day going, I'm sorry, I'm his carer, I was in bed. <laughs> we said we're not talking about that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also, I've decided the longsword staying oh. in the backpack for this. In the backpack, uh, yeah. right, put your shields out. S sword and board for this. Okay. Yeah. Might need a bit of metal between you and this thing. It, it yeah. was the phrase waves of tiny rats. Yeah, um, well, I see those tiny rats and they're not that tiny. Yeah, there's there's three tiny rats just hiding around the back here. Yeah. Yeah. Rodents of unusual size, that's I think it, is the phrase. That's it, yep. yeah. No, they, they do look a little chubby. They've eaten well. Yeah, they do certainly have up to now. Yeah. It's time to change that though. Mm. Yeah, so uh, how do we begin? Because you did say that we're sort of ambushing. Do we get any bonus for that? Yeah, so um, from the beginning, depending on who's ambushing, depends on what goes first at the beginning. So an, the monster would have an extra turn on you guys if he, it ambushed you. However, because you've managed to set this situation up into your advantage, you will be going first. Um, and now each um, uh, round is set up into three phases. So you have the um, refresh phase, then you have the O-Swarm phase, and then finally the encounter phase. Um, so just at the beginning, each of your characters uh, actually has a special ability that's worth you knowing about different mm -hmm. things they do. So your Ursus mm -hmm. over there, actually because he's so tough and massive, he actually gets an extra two empowerment tokens on yeah. the character, which means he's um, well well um, hooked up. The, um, yeah. the priest over there during this refresh phase will actually get an extra health um, as there. He's a, he's yep. over, He'll get uh, one back. Exactly. Uh, he was on four from the... the Right. From a fight, yeah. from stuff, from yeah. <laughs> the so journey. by people you were trying to so murder. He's now on five. That's Defensive great. wounds, I think they're called. <laughs> um, your Dendry can tree run between yes, trees and I things like that, and your Warden has the mantle, which helps them out in, um, in combat. Mm. So um, what we're going to do first is we've got the refresh um, the refresh phase, which means that you're going to be first regenerating Animus. Now, Animus is the main way that you um, uh, can activate your characters during the game. Mm -hmm. So um, what you have is each Animus is represented by one of these gems. Mm -hmm. Each one of these gems is regenerated at the beginning of the round, depending on this over here, which is your regen number this changes throughout the story but right now it's six and so what each of you will need to do is move six of your, uh, your animus across to the active side which is on the right hand side of that track and that means it's now good to be used so you spend animus in, in two ways you can move with animus and each uh, hex is one animus to be mm -hmm. able to move and then there's also um, animus on your card so if you um, have a look here on your cards you can see that at the top left hand corner of each of your ability cards there is a, a number in yellow this is how much it costs to do this ability so this prayer of protection for instance costs three here Okay. So that's what we're going to be deciding. Now, you're going to get to um, activate um, in a, uh, a clockwise order around the around the board. So we might start with the priest and move around this way. However, there's the step in rule, which basically mm -hmm. means if you really think you need to go first, if you're about to get nom nom nommed by something um, and need to step in, you can say, "Can I step in?" just before someone has their turn, and then if they say yes, you can take that turn ahead of time. So you can mm -hmm. effectively play in the order you want. However, keeping things orderly and moving along at a good clip, mm -hmm. um, we're going to start with the priest and moving around clockwise. Okay. Uh, quick question. So the way we're deployed here, is that deliberate? It is, right. So what we have here is, um, in this particular encounter, um, in the encounter book, you're told which um, particular zone of the of the um, encounter board you're allowed to deploy into. And this one, you have to be deployed along the back line, which okay. is where you guys have deployed. Well, it's just, there's one thing I'd like to change before we start, yep. which is the priest, I would like to have him shimmy across here for deployment. Absolutely, that's fine. If that's okay with you guys, yeah? Okay. I want to be closer to the warden. <laughs> right. It's all right. It's all right. Watching you. 
<laughs> All right, so the priest will go first, and I get seven of these cards. Yeah, so everyone starts with a hand of yeah. seven cards. Now, in that hand of cards is um, a bunch of different cards of different cooldown yeah. values. Now, around your board, you will see over here on the priest board, for instance, you've got the numbers three, two, one, and zero. Mm -hmm. And this is where those cards will go when you play them, depending on their cooldown value. So everybody has a hand of cards of seven cards. There's a, a single zero cooldown card, two ones, two twos, and two threes that you're able to play, and that's mm -hmm. where the positions will go in. So over to you. Uh, yes, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend three Animus on the Priest. Mm. And I'm, I'm going to do something nice for you, Jerry. Yes. He's going to send you thoughts and prayers. Right. Prayer of protection. Give a protection token to an adjacent character after they are attacked and they would lose any wounds. The token is triggered. Uh, when triggered, it gives the character plus three to their defense for that attack this token lasts until triggered or recast. Oh, sweet. I love that. So that will go to here, yeah? Excellent. And, so and who's that on? That's going on to your warden. On to my warden. warden there. That's going to represent your... your he's um, he's going to be tanky tanking, so... It's possible. Yeah. Yeah, never say never. Excellent, right. And you've got a couple of animus left. Should you choose I do. Is this pay an animus to get a reroll token? That's for rotating a card on cooldown. Ah. So you can actually rotate that card. That prayer protection can be moved around. If you want for a single animus, you can get that ah. every turn, moving a card around. It's like taking a breath. And I you're think, just kind of getting that I card think I will, close to your hand. I'm going to regenerate in six next turn anyway. Yep. So I play this. It goes into the zero slot. This is going to cost me one. And that rotates by one. That's right. So this card here had um, a whole bunch of different things he could do. You can see it had um, he had the ability to attack, or he could do what he just did, which was paying one for the rotator card. He could replenish his combat decks, which are over there, or he could have even spent five animus to actually give up one of his own health mm. to help somebody near him. He, this is a grim dark game, low fantasy game, and so um, life costs. There's not no cheap healing here, mm. and so you can you have to give up something to be able to heal people in this game. Yeah. So I think that'll do for the priest. Yep. Can I hold that animus over? You can. The next round? you can. Okay. Uh, now we're on to the Ursus. What does the Ursus want to do? <laughs> he could answer a question. What? Well, we're in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. I, I, I don't know how much that that costs. There isn't a card for that, I'm afraid. Know. <laughs> Give that man a bonus. <laughs> Uh, toss Feral Blow Challenge Feral Roar Ah, this could be good So uh, I'm going to pay 4 Animus uh, The whole party May move 2 And gain a level up token Yep, one of those empowerment tokens That's correct so Ooh, I'll that. You're stampeding us Is that what you're saying? I, so I'm just giving it a little roar And we all get to yep. move a little Let's get those empowerment tokens And then you're going to be able yep. to, to move So this. Yeah, all good They're all good Okay and now everybody gets to move two hexes. So Priesty is going to move over here. No, here. He'll move up one, two. And I'll go on two to there. And the warden. One, two to there. So you're starting with a roar. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it doesn't end with a scream. Yeah. Uh, I've got two left, but I don't think I want to spend them. I'll no, see if it's good to okay. spend them. It seems excessively bad. Okay. Right. Warden. Mm -hmm. I think. What does he want to do today? Probably none of that. Mm, don't he really want to do any of that. Today. No, none of that, none of that, none of that. That is one of the creepiest songs uh, ever. I, uh, I think this is, if you imagine just this somewhat. You just a, 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 down to the woods today, you're in for a big <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Excellent. You'll probably hear that on the tr Kickstarter trailer now. <laughs> We're going to just record Justin after this and, 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 <laughs> Don't and you make dare. him the voice, uh, the, the voice oh, no, of the, no. uh, my, the my campaign. Sing, my singing voice is like sing, swinging a bag of cats above your head. It's scary. He's <laughs> <laughs> got the right tone. I'm uh, not going to do anything. Okay. I Yeah. No, you, not going to do anything. Same where you are. You're going to yeah. just hold back? Yeah. I've plenty there, but not particularly offensive, more defensive. I'm not going to burn animus because they require animus to use a lot of them. So well, fancy closing the distance. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Back, yeah, yeah. This is why I tried to spend down to two on each because I know I'll regen yep. and yep. then have the max eat. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of different management mechanics. So you've got the animus that you're at, you're um, uh, managing. You've got the cards that you're managing. And the tokens, mm -hmm. which we have quite a lot of. You do. You've got an excess of tokens. So I'll actually have 
10 animus on each of my characters next turn, which mm -hmm. could be yeah, if you want quite nice. So, Child of the Forest. I could gain Sneak. You cannot be targeted as long as you're sneaking. You can tree run without breaking Sneak, which is good. And it lasts until the next refresh phase, or if I'm no longer adjacent to a tree. Yeah, so it so, makes you safe from So for targeting. the price of one of the finest animus, my Dendry will go sneaking. Mm -hmm. And then... She's camouflaged now. She literally just goes and stands next to the tree, and that's enough five, for them to lose contact. Seven. So I'm seven away. Yep. So spend one to move. Yeah, so it's three animus to... Oh, one to move, and then three one animus to, move, to activate and then that ability. Three animus to go tree running, which allows me, if I'm adjacent to a tree, to hair up to six hexes to another a, a hex adjacent to a tree. Uh, terrain doesn't block this movement, and I do not count as moving through the intervening hexes. So, two, three, four, five, and six, I can put myself to there. The little rat dudes are unaware I'm here. Yeah. Which is handy because I do have some bonuses for shooting her in her behind if her <laughs> behind is facing me. I see. We'll, tr we'll, we'll try and expose the rear then. I'm home ho hoping for that. What? <laughs> <laughs> right, so. I'm done here. My work here is done. Now it's her turn. Uh -huh. so now, um, every every um, monster in this in this game is different. These are unique encounters, isn't it? We talked about it being an experience game, mm -hmm. so that the story is different every chapter, and so is the, the fight you're getting into. Each of these monsters has a a fifteen card um, uh, encounter deck mm -hmm. that basically has um, different phases in it. There are three different phases, so she changes behaviour as we're going to go through this as different triggers happen for hers. Mm -hmm. Her ones particularly are that when she loses certain amounts of health, they trigger. So the 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 more she gets closer to death, the more extreme things become. And um, we're going to be drawing one of these cards. So it's the, uh, the encounter phase. We draw one card, we resolve it, and then we resolve any minions that are on the board. So this first card is Encourage. And it said, The brood mother wills her offspring to close on the prey with a frenzy of gnashing of teeth. Release, release the brood with one extra rat. Then we move the brood mother three in random direction. Each rat, each rat gains an extra might dice of the same color. Um, as its other dice until the end of the turn. So we're going to, each one of these little rats, they roll two um, mm -hmm. to begin with, they're going to be rolling three apiece and we're putting four down on the board. So they come mm. with the closest hex next to her rear, which is these ones. Um, and then she runs off. So let's, let's see a dice roll, see which way she goes. Okay. Okay. These are compass points for the randoms. That's so it. South and east, she's going to head off towards the board. One, two, three. She heads off down there. That's and now the rat. Yet. Now the rats are heading out. Now they can't see the, the ranger. They will go for the closest target naturally. Their AI is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. um, but they're going to run five as quickly as possible to get into contact with you guys. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, it's actually there. One, two, three, four, five. That was not going to get in. We have a yeah, so death. they're coming, but only one of them has managed to reach the bear. So this is how the, um, uh, the she's now done. That's the result. Her card now the encounter the um, minions will get to resolve their combat. So each one will attack. Now these um, um, rats have the mob rule, which means if more than one of them gets a hold of you, they start adding all their dice together. They pull and pull and oh. pull and pull, and it gets yeah. a bit scary. But with this one, you just got the one rat to deal with, so it's not it's not too scary. Yeah, right. um, we say in this game you roll your own doom. Yeah. So you're going to be rolling this just against your rat your no, versus. If it rolls two blanks. Has it missed me? No, so um, the monsters are more consistent than us. They, they, they don't miss, they don't crit either, so you don't have to worry about that or that side of things. So it's just flat whatever damage there is is against my armor then? Now, so what you, the way the damage is done is you add up the damage you do and hmm. divide it by the defense of the of the person who's getting hit. Um, you don't subtract it, you divide it, yeah. so you get some interesting number play okay. there. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to roll those dice, but just before we do that, um, whenever you get attacked, you can play exactly one card from your hand mm. that you can burn for the defense value on that card. Long so person. at the bottom of every card, there's a blue number, and that's the defense number of that card. It goes on cooldown, it doesn't cost you any animus, and it does cause battle flow, like playing an ability card as normal. Mm. It's your bear um, that's being attacked, not your priest. Oh yeah. <laughs> Silly me. But you'll be able to play this one card yeah. just to bolster your defense, which is particularly useful when the heavy hitters start coming in. Mm. That's how you keep yourself alive. No, I think he's okay. Gonna well, he's a defense of three. The average on that should be three. Face tank yeah. it. Let's see what so, happens. Yeah. You might just take one. Oh, it's good. Okay, yeah. it's fine. Not too bad. Uh, not too much trouble. Right, so yeah. the rats have had their go. Now it's back to you guys. So we move back into the refresh phase where you get your six animus back again. Three seals. Uh, it does. Uh, actually, I'm going to spend two animus uh, for a healing touch on the Ursus. So attempt to heal a single adjacent character. Roll a basic check. The difficulty is equal to 
the characters wound plus one. Uh, for each success, they gain one wound. If you fail, uh, place this card on zero. This still counts as two for battle flow if you successfully heal lose one HP. Yes, so what you, you, if you want to try and heal him, he's, he, the actual check that you have to do here is going to be a five plus one, which is six. So you need to beat a six. If you beat a six, you're going to be able to heal that bear up a bit. Yeah. That bear. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll do that. I'll keep this to the side for the moment. And I need to roll in. So I want six. Yeah. I'll grab five. Let's see if we can do this. It's a tough call. He's pretty. Exact. Whoa, there he goes. Right, and he's got a crit as well. So roll that crit dice out. See if we can get to 12. That'd be nice. No. Now we got it. So we hit exactly what you needed to, right? So you can basically trade one of your health for one of his health. You yeah. give something of uh, his essence, and he's, he's back to He's going to be tanking. That's pretty a good. A lot more than me. So I think it's worth doing that now. Excellent. Right. Well done. Right. So you, uh, get, so you, you pay your cost, the Animus. Yep. I already did. Good. And uh, it goes up to down to here. Him. Correct. Okay. What's he doing? No, I still have quite a bit of animus there should I just rock in yeah so the priest is going to start getting stuck in here so he's going to go one two spend two animus to move and then he's going to spend four for pillar and path uh, so what this does is I can either gain a reroll or a defense token mm -hmm. and then I attack that's right so I will gain a reroll token because they are really nice and useful. And then, so this now goes down onto here. Mm -hmm. And does this push around because it went down onto here? It does. So that's the battle flow coming in. So the battle flow system, it represents um, the fact that in real combat, a lot of the time, the person who actually wins a combat isn't the person who's best with a mm -hmm. blade. It's normally the person who's got the best stamina, yeah. the person who can keep breathing, keep standing, keep fighting until the mm -hmm. job's done, right? It's when you get tired, you make mistakes, and that's where the attack yeah. comes that hits you. Important question. So I already had a zero card here. Should I have drawn that back to my hand at the beginning? No, that's no, at the beginning of the turn, yes. So at the beginning of every turn, during yeah. the refresh phase, you draw all cards at zero back into your hand. Okay, so I should have had that there. So that's fine. So now I get to attack this thing. So yeah. I get my yellow die. That's it. That's representing your big two-hander that he's got. And how many wounds do these have? They've just got the one. So they've got two defense and one HP each. So they're pretty easy to kill. You're pretty yeah. safe with it. I'll just grab a second dice. This should be. It's pretty small though, so if you try and hit them too hard, I might, yeah. um, might miss them. Yeah. Let's try this. Oh, it's very Job good. Job done. Right, so you crit, you get your explosion, exploding dice. That comes another one, but it's okay, you're safe. Yep. So you get your three. Now, you've cracked this rat. There's another thing that um, you can do here. So you've got a Great Maul over here, and the Great Maul's uh -huh. special ability is actually that it allows you to knock back an enemy when you hit them and add damage to that attack. Now, you don't need the damage, the thing's dead, but you can knock it back with this attack, and that will knock this rat into this one. Uh, and now, how, did, both how many of them times can I use this during Just the once, though. It's a just single once. ability you can use that. I think I'd rather thing. save that for a little yeah, while. Yeah, so you've got to choose when to use it, but um, yeah. you'll kill so, this rat. Rat dead. Get Get One behind Mummy Rat and knock I, Mummy I, into I, I, all of its babies. Yeah, I'm thinking Mummy Rat goes bowling. <laughs> so we're one down, six to go. Yeah, so that's Mr. Priest done. Right. Uh, next up, Mr. Warbear. Mr. Warbear has a very nice ability here. So he's going to spend one to move, and he will move to here. And then what he's going to do is what's called a swipe. So I get to attack up to three hexes in my front arc, roll once and apply damage to all targets. Yeah, so here comes the sweep. So this is costing four, make sure I pay my cost. And then it goes into the, the number two slot and pushes Feral Roar around into one. That's right, uh, so I'll get my yellow die. And I think, oh, I'll just grab the one, it should be enough. If I kill one, I kill them all. That's it. You've done Wait. it. Yep. It's a crit as well, but you get these dice. Oh, and it still goes. Here it goes. Don't use them all up at once. <laughs> that's, it. that's all his luck gone. Uh, that's a nine. It's very much done. So he's killed three rats three with a single massive rats. swipe of the, the axe, clearing the way a bit more. Mm -hmm. I'm just having a think because my felling axe has an ability on it as well. So gain six animus on doing at least one crit during an attack. So Damn. I'm going to trigger it. So it'll flip over. And I'll gain six back, yeah? You did do the crit? Yep, I did a crit. So it's getting a full extra turn's worth here. Yeah? yeah, so now I'm going to pay one to move to here. And then I'm going to pay four to play toss. And what that's going to do is attack an adjacent enemy. If they lose any health, 
pick them up if they are a single base enemy and throw them up to three away even if they are dead. If they land on another enemy, they both count as being... Not uh, backed, that's right. So you can yeah. actually basically pick up a thing and chuck it. Yeah. So you need to attack it as normal first of all, so you get your normal attack, dice or cards, yeah, whatever you want. This will go down here and push Feral Roar into zero, which is half the reason I did it. That's good. And Okay, so I just get to attack. Uh, because it's just a rat, I'll just use two. Oop. Nice, okay, this bear's going on a war path, he's killed mm, three yeah. of them, he's just killed a fourth one. Where's that rat going? Uh, so it was this rat knocking into this rat. Alright, so you chuck this rat into this rat, both of them lose a HP because of the knockback, which is what um, happens when you get knocked One of them back. got knocked back into Mummy, I believe, so Mummy loses a HP. And it does, it does. So this one here gets knocked back into this flank of, of the mother. The now you can actually see, if we go to the, the brood mother, what we can see here is that the these are actually the hexes of the brood mother, where she's facing, this is her head, this is her back. And you actually get different bonuses for taking out the brood mother in certain ways. Um, this particular one here is that because we hit her on the right flank, this right flank dice will go down by one. And when we take that um, dice off, that location is destroyed. Yeah, no, anything else for Mr. Bear to do? Because he still has three here. Mm, I could pay one and have that push toss in there again. But I don't really need it, so I'm just going to go pay three and take a swing at that last rat. Yep. So, so the, uh, the bear's going all out now. He's, he's, he's Yarg. Amazing, Very he's done right. it again. Right there, we have six. That's the six kill count in one turn. Impressive. That clearly, he doesn't want to tackle the big mama. So. I've just cleared out all the babies. Oh, that's the excuse. That's it. Come Could on, have I, gone I, up. Could I have killed gone. all the babies. Could Look at all the dead babies. Mom. So now you can kill the, the mother yeah, right, well, in one yeah. turn. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, clearly we'll do that. Yeah. By the way, that um, heavy blow that you did there, it actually pushed the other card back into your hand. So at zero, when you play, when you um, battle oh. flow that, it battle flows straight back into your hand to, for use later in the turn for defense or next turn for awesome. attacks. When we attack the mother, she won't automatically kick off, will she? Or does she? No, so it's whenever you destroy a location, that's when they really want revenge. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. You'd hurt her too badly, she'll come back right at you. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of what happened during our first play off camera. I rocked up and crushed the mother's head, and it was just like, <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to hit you back. And Jerry was just like, no, no, Warden, over here, come at me. Mm. Won't be doing it this time. Oh, <laughs> where's the love, man? I can't do it this time. You're too far away. <laughs> You've wandered off, <laughs> killing babies. Uh, no, I can interrupt the normal flow. Uh, you can, so you could step in with so the I ranger if you wanted to. So I'm going to step in with the ranger. Mm -hmm. And we'll come back to him once we've seen what is happening here. Oh, now I see why he's salty. I killed all the ranger's targets. No, I need to get to the bum of the mother anyway. Uh, no. uh, it's, there's no, there's <laughs> it's no a point. sentence I didn't think I was going to hear yeah, this morning. There's no up. point in killing the minions when the big evil thing is still alive. That's the target. That's the goal. Oh, I get yeah, that. But yeah. I thought it might be better not to have six of the little oh, rats no, chewing fine. on that's us. That's grand. That's never words that everywhere. Especially does. with the mob rule and they were getting three dice that round. That could have been pretty horrific. Yeah. I don't know if we've got enough white dice for what would have happened, but thankfully you guys have dealt yeah. with it. So Ranger's got a path to the mob. That was three dice the previous round, not this round. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, But we'll try some clever maneuvers. Okay. So I need to get within four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So I need to spend three hours to move. Mm -hmm. So that's doable. To go one, two, three to there. Mm -hmm. And then that puts me within four. So if I thread the needle, am I into the rear hex there where I stole the You need side? to go just here one more and that'll get you into where that's you need okay. to be. So we go to there. Now that's the that's the rear now. Then three for threading the needle. You can choose the lo uh, location on the enemy to hit, but if I fire into the enemy's rear from the rear, I get a plus two. Yes, it is. He gets oh, extra damage. Buckwheats is the phrase. There's a prize for anybody who knows what buckwheats is. Yeah, uh, Bobby. <laughs> I don't think I want. That. No. <laughs> so our survey says. Um, Firefly? Yeah. Let's see. I get one yellow uh -huh. for being clever. Yeah. And then I can go for many white. But we know most of the blanks are, blanks right, are yeah. out and I have a reroll. Mm -hmm. So, so you also have the upgrades. So you could turn that yellow into a red or I, into a black, sorry. I could. Now the plus two is that 
an automatic plus two onto this if I hit, or is it's it a plus two if you hit. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we'll go with this. That's fine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. <one. laughs> and our survey okay, says right. one, not a, one. a miss. So we don't want to see a miss. A miss. That's the first one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come back to you in a oh. minute, miss. And there's a crit. So nine. nine with the roll up. Nice. Uh, right. So I'd like to re-roll this one, please. So with the roll up, not to re-roll that. So you have to reshuffle the deck. Yeah, that's fine. And then I have to draw one for my crit as well once it's right. reshuffled. Yeah. So, so if this is a number. You're you're dandy, and you've managed to to lay lay the smack down. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's going to be a miss. Yep. Let's see what happens. We'll uh, find out now. Tiny cards. I'm bad at shuffling. <laughs> But we'll give that a go. <gasps> Our surfing says, da, 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 da. "Oh, mother!" <laughs> oh, okay. Right, so the Can he buy another reroll? He, if he has he, the token. He, he could. He hasn't got the token. I haven't got the token. He hasn't oh. got the token. He does have have enough animus to gems to be, uh, tokens to be able to do another attack if you. Oh yeah, design. yeah. No, I will. Because why not? Why wouldn't I? So greedy. Not too greedy. You need to go big or go home. That was going to be one arrow to to rule them all. That was that was that was, that was yeah. going oh, yeah. to be that, that, that the headshot. That, that is backwards. Bobby. I'll tell you later. So I, mean, I think I need to be fortified before discovering no. what that means. No, it's not how the game is played. <laughs> you don't need to know. No, because that ranger is no longer in contact with the tree. Is the stealth gone? Stealth, oh, yeah. stealth went yep. previous turn. Yep. Or, well, at the start of this turn in the refresh phase, anyway. Yeah. So that's just to get me around the back for the okay. time being. That's right. The rats ran past her. She came out from yeah. the shadows, but yeah, yeah. she's now open season. Yeah. No, it's just uh, I remember you telling me what is it? North and west. Yeah. The thing likes to move to attack people furthest north, furthest west. Yeah. If there's a choice. Yeah. After closest. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, you're further your, away. Your priest is still closer. Don't worry. Yeah. Strange that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she's fine. <laughs> She, she's grand. But before we started filming, uh, well, did, did say he had plans oh, yeah. to kill off the priest before the thing, a replacement <laughs> with a new free company member. Cooperative game. How are you going to kill my priest? By well, just standing back and watching you being eaten, and then there's less for me to uh, split when it comes to reaping, <laughs> reaping uh, the iron. Uh, but my warden gets to go now. So Ooh, I actually quite like that term that he's just used, reaping the iron. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I like it. That's free. That's yours. You can use it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'll take that. I will. Then I'll copyright it and make a million pounds. Go one, two, one, uh, two to there, and then I think I might just hold myself where I am, because it gives me options if Rat Boy decides not to come my way, <laughs> or Rat Lady, as the case may be, for the Brood Mother. All right, so. All good. Yep. Encounter's turn. So the encounter's drawing a card now. This is a tail whip. So it says a barbed tail thicker than your leg comes around in a brutal arc. We release the brood. So we've got three more rats coming from the rear side. And then we're going to have her move forward towards the closest target. Um, she then turns away from the target and we'll do this massive sweeping attack. So it oh, is our warden here. Yep. We're going to move in. She'll take us to here. Uh, sorry, here. And then she turns away from the target for the tail to come round. Bam, 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 bam. And now, unfortunately, for uh, it's gonna get all three the of priest, us. I think we're okay with the the bear. The bears, the bears just kind of this tail just just come uh, just come past his face. It's but the, like the priest and the warden are both going to get hit. It's the arc on the it's card, the so you can see yeah. the arc off the back, and that's yeah, the yeah. rear of the card. Oh right, so he's just outside of the arc. Yeah, just outside the oh, arc, okay. literally just on the other side. So. Okay, so. Wap, wap. Both are going to get smacked. Now these things are, this is like 12 tons of teeth and fur, right? This thing rolls really hard. You guys have been rolling a few whites. This thing will be rolling six dice. It nice. won't miss, it won't crit, but there's a bunch of yellows involved there as well. Right. Now uh, the priest is going to play Weird of Glory to up his defense <laughs> by three to six. You got to that very quickly. He was ready, he was ready for that. So the, um, uh, the, the monsters, when they attack, um, you can always burn that one card yep. for the extra defense. And so you're going to play the, your heaviest card, try and get bol bolster it from three to six. Yep. Burn it now, because he knows what's about to happen to him. And I'll be shield bashing my way to freedom. OK. So that'll push me to seven defense. Right, so it's fairly big damage now. You roll your own doom in this game. Yeah. So there you please. Our survey says. Uh, get 
seven, so I take one. So they don't crit. They don't crit. No, right, so we do that damage, so um, seven into your defense. So if your defense is six, six into seven goes once, seven into seven goes once, you both lose one HP on that attack. Um, Actually, I can do something sneaky. Okay. Uh, It's an interrupt. Yep. After you or an adjacent friendly character has damage rolled against them, uh, ignore one of the enemy's attack dice against you or that character of your choice. Right, so those are three there, so you yeah. can choose to defend one of you. It's either you or him. Who's it going to be? Well, he's in worse shape, so obviously him. All right, okay, that's very interesting of you. <laughs> pushes the per- prayer of protection back into my hand, which would trigger for you for a plus three, actually. My he's on plus prayer, three anyway. My little prayer protection. That, yeah, that actually, yeah. That actually um, um, goes so you actually don't lose so, that HP. So in that case, yeah, so that I can would trigger for myself. me and defend yourself. Yeah, yeah so I'm neither of you lose that HP. Perfect, well done. To me. Okay, okay so, yep, that's good. Now you both go, go flying, unfortunately, though, at the same time. So one, that's two, three, one, two, three, get knocked away as this tail comes round. Mm-hmm. And then the rats now. Mm. The rats here have got one, two, one, two, three. So this rat here is going to go over here. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, and one, two, three. So Ranger's got two giant rats on her. That's the Ursula right. only has the one. So there's going to be four whites for the Ranger. You get to play that card before they take this damage. Yeah. Let's say we go with, because uh, I don't have much in the way. I've only got two defense at the best of times. I think I only really need a one out there. Um, Actually, no, let's go for the safer two. So, I'll put my defense up to four. All right, defense up to four. Roll those dice, see what happens. All right, so you, if you'd stayed at two, you mm. would have lost the HP by mm. playing the cards, so that. You haven't got this. What you're always doing, though, you're trading that future offensive ability yeah. of that card mm-hmm. for the immediate to defensive bonus. Alive, so there yeah. is a trade-off there. You're losing that potential, but you've, you've actually helped yourself out there staying, so not taking that hit. Yeah. We're all fine here. Yep, so you guys are good there. Now it's just the bear. Bear's got to take two. He's got three health of his own yeah. already. Do you want to use a card, or do you want to just no, try I'm and face tank it? Two dice is fine. Ooh, that was almost famous last words there. That's so good. It's okay though. He, he's taken that rat, no problem. So now it's back to you guys' turn. It's um, Right, so Priest goes back up to six. Yeah, and you refresh your um, animus. Yep. And cards go back into hand that are on zero. That's right. Mr. Priest is. One, two, three, four away. So he'll spend four to go one, two, three, four. Uh, I'll just use the two tokens. Mm -hmm. And let's start buying attacks. So I will play withdraw, but I'm spending three to use it to buy the attack, which is its secondary ability. Right, so I'll start with a yellow dice, but I'm going to play two upgrades. Okay. So this is empowerment tokens. Each one of these empowerment tokens allows you to basically increase um, two times on a dice. So either you can turn a white into a yellow um, twice, so you'll have two whites into two yellows, or you could turn one white into a red or one yellow into a black um, as you move up those things. So it's two empowerments you've got there. So you're trading four to get four empowerments here yep. on these dice. So what do you want to turn it to? Going yellow into black. Uh, no, no, not into black, the other way. Okay, so you want to do a red and a yellow. Mm-hmm. And then I will do the same again, but with the red. Okay, so you're going to go to a black and another, and ye- another yellow. Yellow. All right. And I think that's it. All right. And now I'm going to grab five of these. <laughs> One up, four of these. All right, got a couple of reroll tokens. It's going in hard. Yeah. Go hard or go home. All right, we've missed currently, but we've got some amazing crits there. Yeah, and so I'll pay for a reroll. Yeah, so a reroll will let you reroll one dice, and it's, and it's made it land. So, so I get two more yellows. You do get two more yellows. And, and one more and white. And a white, so there's even more dice coming as those explode and give you a bit more damage. Uh, another couple. Right, let's see what you got, though. So we add this up. Nine, 10, 15? Yep, right. Uh, 15, I think. Uh, yeah. 16. 16. 16. So it's actually 16. Okay. Yeah. So, right. So then what you do is you take the damage 16 divided by the defense of the broodmother. She's only got two. So two into 16 goes eight times. Mm. So you guys have done horrendous. Now, done. You completely crushed the back of this rat. The rear is just caved in. And um, underneath, you can actually see here that there's a, a little token here. So you get a reward for destroying the rear. It allows you to choose the way that you take this monster apart. But yeah. In this particular situation, all of you get a reroll token. But so I have to pay for my hubris. This is it. So the massive blow comes in, lands on the 
the rat, the rat squeals in pain and uh, turns on you. And so now we draw immediately a reaction card. It's the same thing as any counter face cards, but this happens every time we destroy a location on a monster, mm -hmm. but the target is the person who did the damage, mm -hmm. so it's coming after you, Justin. So we have here Gnaw. So you glimpse the endless hunger behind her eyes as she bears down on you. Release the brood, mm -hmm. um, and then she will move seven to her target, attack you, and then move off in a random direction. So we release the brood. Here they come. Brood, 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 and she's brood. turning on you. Yep. And in comes the damage. So it's again three yellows, three whites. Do you want to play a card to try and defend yourself? Uh, yeah, I'll chuck an extra two onto myself. So it goes down into the three slot and pushes the three round? It does. Okay, but it doesn't chain. So whenever this pushes into the two, that two doesn't push, does it? That's right, yep. Okay. Doesn't cascade. Okay, but I've got five defense now. Five defense, see what happens. Right, we're drawing seven damage, five into seven, goes once, so you lose one HP as that as you get smacked. Yep. And the, brute, the rats are on the, um, on the wall path. Hmm. So, pretty fine. And then she steamrollers off somewhere. Then yep, she rolls. In a random direction. There's a random direction yeah. dice over there. She's going to go northeast. She's running away from you. I don't blame her. One, <laughs> two, three. Now, what happens then is she actually makes contact with a tree here. When you actually just make contact with a tree, you actually destroy the tree, and the tree is removed ah. from the board as we, um, as we do that, as she just barrels straight through it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Forest clearance. <laughs> well, Mr. Priest still has three left. I will just spend one animus, drop this into the zero, yep. force that back into my hand. That's a good idea. And that's going to let me push a card around. Effectively represents you taking that breath, you're taking yep. a moment just to gather so, your senses and gather yourself what's coming. Yeah, I think I'm going to push healing touch around one. Mm -hmm. And again, it doesn't cascade. No, it doesn't cascade. Okay, so that's priest done. Next up is Mr. Bear. Any which way? In fact, actually. The priest had two left, so I could actually move him first, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll just move him back one to make a gap for the big yep, guy. Good thinking. And then it's one, two, three, four, five. Because you can't actually move through other monsters or um, yeah. uh, other enemies in this game. Yeah, but I will move five to here. Right. Charging him. Yeah, and I've got to pay for it. So I have that. I'll pay one and the two tokens to there. Let's hit the mana in the rear again. So this is um, kind of a hail back to the, the story mode as you were going through mm. that. You made some decisions that were basically you being pragmatic, saving your energy for a later date, and this is that time you're burning it. So you're actually say, you, the choices you made previously are now coming back to help you out and make that distance you need to be able to get into contact yep. with the Broodmother. So I will play Bite, spending two Animus for an attack. It goes into the three slot. Uh, so I get my yellow base. Mm -hmm. However, this time, I have five of these. You have five in... <laughs> So I'll, I'll Where use, do these come from? I will use My three God. of them. You're going to use three of them. Yeah. Okay, so we've got plus. We've got six empowerments. Where are yeah. we going with this? So multiply the dice for the first one. So, so red and have, yellow. So you want a red and yellow. Yeah. And then I'll do the same again for another red and yellow. Another red and yellow. So that's going to be a white to a yellow and a white to a yellow. And then that's a second okay. empowerment. This is fine. And then the last one. one, I'm going to take one of those yellows and make it a black. A black dice. Okay, so four dice, no whites. Two whites. Two whites. <laughs> Dude, I've still got like rerolls in here as well. That's true. Oh, it's good. And you're going northeast. There's a crit on the black. There's, There's a crit, crit on, on the black. It's good. A crit on the black, and that was Right, so then the black comes so. out. See some more damage. No, no. Nope. So what I'm we have to pay for now? a reroll on that black, because why not? Ah, uh, uh, what's here? But what we're adding up there, we've got three, we've got six, 12, 13 damage, right? No, no, no fifteen damage by the looks of it. Yeah. So fifteen damage, fifteen to two, get yeah, seven. Yeah. Um, so this thing only has six on that location. So we've got another, we've actually destroyed another location, caving in the flank of this beast. Um, and I she's get nothing for that. You don't get it for that one, apart yeah. from a, 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 a massive rat bearing down yeah. on you. A reaction, eh? So the reaction is Screech. The air oscillates and pain lances through you as the brood mother lets out a terrifying screech. We release the brood, more rats are coming down. Good. Oh, that's good oh, news. Dear. And um, also, the, the she will move three in a random direction. I wouldn't be surprised if it's away from the bear. North. North, north yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. She's running off, and um, 
she then causes a screech that will cause her highest might damage, uh, might dice in damage um, for each empty hex between oh, no. between all the characters on the board. That's not oh, going to be nice. Yeah. Maximum of four dice. Right, so between the uh, Dendry and the closest, which is the Ursus, there is four. So she's going to take four yellows because that's the highest dice on yeah, that thing. So four yellows for that. Yep. The Ursus is going to take uh, three because that's the closest, but we'll just roll on yeah, Jerry's, Jerry's first. So you. Can these be mitigated by defense? Yes, they can. So can you play an ability card right now as you're about to take damage? Oh, yes. Yes, I would like to. Thank you. Bye, multi-shot. We hardly knew you. <laughs> so that push me up to five defense. It does, and it pushes the other card around with the battle oh, flow. Happy days. So there's a couple of advantages there. Let's see what happens. I needed that. There's the five. five. So that would have been two HP, but because mm. five and five only goes once now, it's one HP loss. Next up, the Ursus is three away from the closest target, so you need three yellows. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to drop for an additional two, and that'll push into the one pushing it around. Mm -hmm. So three dice, and defense is currently five. That's the five, five. So it's, it's one HP. One. This is fine. There's only two between the priest and the warder. Well done, us. So the, both of you are now rolling two. You yep. actually get to yep. roll a dice if you want to, or if you think you can face tank it, then you get I'll to keep your cards. I'll just is fine. That's He's fine. death. <laughs> it's a good time to start rolling blanks. Oh, not for the uh, warden. No. The warden's no, going to take I'll one. I'll take one. Go down to four. That's all right. Uh, That's right. I can live with that. Right, so there's a big screech coming out. There's the reaction from the, um, yep. from the Ursus's massive blow. Anything else you want to do? Uh, I think you can kill us some more with tiny rats. I can kill some tiny rats. So what I'll do, I'll pay two for an attack. So that'll push the three around. There's a little look there. That little look is universal in this game. It's the moment of, wait, the card I need is here. Yeah. <laughs> it needs to come back here. Yeah. How do I make that happen? Yeah. Uh, it was more I was looking at it going, I've got Feral Roar. Wait, I only have three Animus. Oh, well. So I'll take a swing at uh, one baby rat, which is my yellow dice, and I'll chuck just two blank or two whites on there. It should be grand. It's grand. It's good. It's dead. It's good crit. And it's a crit. So one good. dead rat. Very dead rat. <laughs> yeah, three times over. And that'll be Mr. Ursus done. Mm -hmm. Our survey says. Good. I think I'll go for the three. Yeah. One, two, three to there. Mm -hmm. Finger away. And then I will go for Arcing Strike, which will cost me four of the finest. And that allows me to attack up to three enemies in my front arc, roll once, and apply the damage to all the targets. So that would be nice if I could kill the two rat dudes. Mm hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, huh? I'll go for a little power up. So. I'll take uh, two yellows, and I'll have a white as well for novelty. No cards? No. Keeping the cards for somebody who needs it. Oh, oh nice. very, very dead. Very dead. And a crit. Let's see how many times this thing dies. No, That's just, good. just Seven, that much. Three times over you kill yeah. them, they're both dead. But they're both gone. Nice. nice. And I'm close enough when water or when the priest gets attacked by rats again, I can taunt them in my direction if I need to. Mm -hmm. Yes, taunt requires nothing and guard requires one. So they're all good. So that'll save me for the time being there. And then the ranger. You can kill two rats. I could ricochet. Choose an enemy within bow range. They are. And then choose a different enemy within four hexes of the first, his friend beside him, <laughs> and split the damage however I wish between the two targets. Oh, that sounds ideal. Let's ricochet a shot between them. That goes into there. That knocks around, and yeah. That pushes me to there. And uh, something similar. I take two yellows in place of two whites. I get a yellow for my bow anyway. And so there's two rats, one they've got one HP each, they've got two defense, you need to get to four to be able to kill both of them as you divide okay, that okay. damage up. Yep. That should be sufficient, I feel. Nope. And there's the so grip. That nice. the survey says. Seven damage. Seven damage. It's easy enough for what you need. Enough. 
Dead, dead. Ping, Shot one rat right in the head and bounce it straight up into the jaw of another, killing them both. I'm like a ninja. Am I? I might. I've got three left. Am I within bum shot? One, two, three, four. No, just out of bum shot range. Or am I? Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. One to there. And then... You still have your tokens, yeah? Two and one there. Uh -huh. And go for loose arrow. Uh, so just fire straight bow attack. That doesn't push that out yet. Though. It does, yeah, it that does straight back into your Oh, hands, that's so. amazing. Have that, there could be another bum shot coming. I've got three left. We'll see how we do. Mm. I get my bow and then I get some whites. Uh, we'll just give a little bit of a. Because these are going to be going into either the flank or the core, which are both untouched currently. Mm. Yeah, let's let's try some cards. Dun, 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 dun. Bum. One. Blank. Blank. Oh. Blank. It's a mess. Blank. It's not enough. You do have a reroll token. I do. I won't use it for that. I'll uh, save it for this. I'm going to attempt to thread the needle with my remaining. All right. So we're burning all the animus all here. All the animus. Everything we've saved up. We're, we're going all out. And that goes into ricochet land. Uh -huh. um, um, ricochet pushes round, and the other one gets pushed back yeah. to your hand. So I choose a location on the enemy. I am firing into the bum. Have a look. Not quite the bum's no. out there, oh, so the it's, well, it's more of a left case, thigh kind of shot. In that case, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for the flank because the flank's there anyway. Well, actually, no, because you're going to be heading the rear next, probably. I'm going to be rocking in and taking out the core. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. So I, I can pick the core as the target anyway. So I will pick the core as the target. I just won't get the plus two for firing into that area. Mm. And this comes back to me. And we'll go... Oh, a yellow card for my bow, mm. and then I'll go. Oh, I'd like two more yellows, please. Yellow and yellow. Good choice. I have a white. And throw a white in just for flavour. Hey, you know why not? I haven't missed enough recently. <laughs> Gonna add two. Uh huh. That's what I'd like to see. Three with a crit. Excellent. Three with a crit. Oh. Three without a crit. All right, it's two, two more, more yellows. Crits then. Oh, shame. We're up to 11, one more damage, and there it is, 13. there's the 13. That's the magic number. You get to 12 um, with this thing, and you take out an entire location in a single shot, which was an amazing yep. thing. So, so which one were you hitting? Up the core. Up the core, right. right. So we're, up the core. The core's taking it. And we've got another location now. What we're now moving into is phase two. We move over there. She's lost enough HP now. We start triggering the what next things? round of things. So she gave life. She can take it away. Mother's meal. So we're getting more rats onto the board. Mm -hmm. But what we're also, what she's going to do is she's going to try and eat one of her her young. However, um, she was she basically get a whole bunch of HP back from that, but because she doesn't have um, anywhere that's damaged, she's just going to basically eat a baby for nothing. Excellent. She's doing your job for you. Nice. So she's going to move seven to the furthest rat, which will be this one over here. It goes one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So it's going to move all the way around here to here, facing this way, and eat this one. Right. So that's gone. Um, uh, num, num, num. Then she's going to move four to the closest target. Now the closest target to her is actually. Right oh, here, yeah. not even needing to move. Yep. She's going to nom on the dentry as well. <laughs> <laughs> Just that face of going, I need cart, I need cart. <laughs> I'd like to double stab my defense, okay. double stab my way to happiness. So, so that does shun that stuff down. those two to one, and you get to roll your own doom. That's all right. Gives me a mighty defense of uh, four currently. That's spent after. after yeah. yeah, you can yeah, save that's that fun. to that see what happens if things get too bad here. Yeah. Yeah, Whoa. things are bad. <laughs> Two, four, fourteen. Eight, fourteen. Uh, oh. Four into fourteen goes three, three times. times. Um, if you go to five, five, though, it's only twice. So that, you're playing that defense token now. Upping that defense will save your HP right now, which is a very yeah. good move. Um, so you go down to three. So it's now that was a heavy hit because yeah, you know that you lose two HP, you're losing a third of your life. Yeah, yeah. although dear Christ, being on two defense, pretty tough. Yeah, I'm a lover. Tough. But he doubt he puts out a lot of damage. Nice. He doesn't have to be quite so close up in person. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you may not be able to smell it right now, but my spore <laughs> my spores are just wafting. There's plenty of waft going on. Some panic panic yeah. wafting. D don't inhale. <laughs> All right, so um <laughs> Hey Jerry, do you smell popcorn? Yeah, always. <laughs> All right. So um, the ranger, that was done. a the ranger did her reaction. Yep. That yep. was her turn. Now it's her actual, actual turn. turn, turn. <laughs> so that was just the reaction to getting smacked. Now she's going to draw this card. So 
Maternal rage. As her pups fall to your blades, her rage builds to a fever pitch. She barrels towards you. We release the brood again. So there's even more rats coming down. And then she'll move seven to her target, which is still the ranger. who's right in front of her. She's not going Can to Can I? Move. Can you? Interrupt. You may try. Mm. How are you trying to interrupt? I've got a card called Guard, which allows me to move up to two hexes towards a character, ignoring threat. That's a bonus for my defense. They could trade my defense if I could get adjacent. But more importantly, it would put me in a position where I can use other interrupts and taunts because I'll now be close enough to actually stop Broodmother munching my it, face off. It is true. If you've got the animals to do it and you've got the thing to do oh, it, you, I can, do. you can really game that. And So guard will go there and the warden will run to there, screaming. Um, and then after the encounter card is drawn or after an enemy moves so we've drawn but we haven't moved That's yet right. I can force one enemy within two hexes hello mummy <laughs> to focus on me rather than the initial target the encounter card plays as if I was focused That's right so instead of the ranger who's right there um, the uh, Dendry is not going to take this blow and good mm -hmm. job too because she might have died from it Yeah. so then in comes you might just have saved her life so the ranger the broodmother instead will move to attack and, and the warden pushes. She does. Yep, so that's what happens whenever the Broodmother moves. You basically pick her off the board mm. and you find out where she was going to finish and then you drop her down and she pushes everything out of the way. Like she doesn't, she doesn't queue. Mm -hmm. um, she just pushes right in to get to oh. wherever she wants to eat today. No. So, Something that doesn't queue. That's so pretty. <laughs> that's it, yeah. I'm really sure. Right. Um, so you're attacking. Attacking, attacking the fantastic warder. The warden. Uh, so my warden is a mighty defense of four. Mm. Playing any cards uh, I'm going to throw a psychic feedback in there. Let's go on to two. Uh, so that pushes over right. to one. And so that's good. You've got a double bonus from that. And so you're up to what six now? Defense of six. Let's see what happens. Ooh, you're fine. Perfect. We're all Unpunched. fine here. So I'm playing that card. You got yourself past the threshold and you take nothing. Yeah. You just take it right on the buckler. That's all good. We're all fine here. And the important thing is the adrenaline is, uh, is not dead. Dead yeah. is can't spam. Fortunately, then there's an additional effect to this. Well, you know, okay. yeah. What happens now is that she will then move forward to the next closest target and attack them also. And at this point, the next closest target is actually now the Ursus. The Ursus, so oh, the Ursus is going to take an attack as well. Done marvelously well there. The Ranger is just Ranger, <laughs> Ranger, Ranger. <laughs> I'm going to have to take Until this on the chin because mm. the cards in hand right now are not so good for defense. Yeah, so you you guys went in real hard. You burn yeah. everything to take this damage. You did a lot of damage, but but this is it. There's always that trade-off. Yeah. yeah. Just don't roll high. Uh, five. Five? I'll take one damage. One damage. That's OK. Fine. Right. That's and that's her they're done. Now her minions will activate the at the end of her turn. So the babies are coming in. And this is yeah. this could be problematic. Mm. So what we've got here, one, two. I'm going to move to there. Two will get you in there. Yeah, that little swinger into there. So I've now got. Need to move. I want to go to there. Four of these little buggers. Yeah, and this one. So basically, this one here is um uh, four away from there, three away from there. We'll go this way. But if they've been equidistant, um, the rat will choose to uh, pick a mob to target. This one over here will come over here to attack. So um. When we're talking about movements and where things end up, there's a universal rule in the game called the rule of north and west, which basically sorts out a whole bunch of, um, of things in terms of placements and movements and targets and all kinds of things like that. So if in doubt, if there are options, um, two equally good choices, you always choose the northernmost target um, in terms of movement or, or, or focus target. Yeah. Um, or, and if there, there are two equally northern ones, you pick the, the, the westernmost. So this one will go here. And we'll start from north and go south. So um, right, Dendry first. Yes. Four dice. Four dice, four whites. How's that hand looking? <laughs> it's grand. It's like fine. I'm not going to worry about this. Hell, I always felt like overpowering the rats' attacks on myself. That's how good I am. You sure you're about this? You're happy about this? <laughs> no, not happy at all. <laughs> but alas, there's not much I can oh, do there. All right. So that's, that's four. That's not ideal. Yeah. But I do still have a whole shiny hit point there. One HP left. Yeah. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I may have that here. Well, we'll see if you've been I have that heal. No. My problem now is the Ursus has four of these things on him. Yeah, so that's uh, that would be eight. <laughs> eight white. Yeah. And I really do not want to have to use this for defense, but I think I have to use this for defense, which is going to be Feral Roar to give me a boost of three, put me on six. Yep. 
so they will get pushed right, however. Oh, this is going to suck so bad. <laughs> Actually, no, it's grand. I take no, uh, six, nothing. Three, four, four, six. And you had six, right? So, so you're losing one HP. One. Yeah, one HP. Okay. But I, you do have a defense token if you want to use it to Actually, save you yeah. that HP. I'll, I'll save that HP. I'll use that defense token. So. Uh, I expected that to be much worse. I believe you got that from a small case of arson earlier in the mm. story, and now it's a uh, save your life now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that pragmatism has come back to help you out. You know, just that, that arson works. Uh, who wants it? They all want it. There's two, um, three on me. There is three. Yeah, that, all of them will attack you. So basically, with the mob rule, yeah. when they've got that, they will always attack a, a, a mob Some character. So yeah. they're going to add all those dice together six dice on six the Six dice. Na, 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 na. Roll them. Six. Okay. That's one. Okay. Uh, that's okay. I can live with that. It's good. Still you didn't fighting. Have to, you didn't have to use a card for that either, which is no, good. No. Okay, so now it's that's the end of the um the, the encounter phase. It's back into your refresh phase. Ooh. Yeah. Priestie gets a point back. Beep. That's an unusual noise you made. <laughs> that sound of feeling feeling good now. <laughs> is that the sound? I feel much way. better now. Thank <laughs> you. Beep. So the Adendri is looking super bad. How can you? It, tell? Can't, it can't be much worse. To be no. fair, it's can a... can we? Yes. Hold the priest till the end of round to go. Yeah, I mean you can say like step in rule with the I, others. I would and like to go. step in rule to hold back. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and so I'll go straight to the Ursus. So he's going to pay two. Uh, sorry, he's paying three to attack Mama. Because if if we can get her dead, we win. <laughs> it's true. Interesting. So true. he starts with his yellow, and I'll use one upgrade token on that. So I'll upgrade that to a red, and a white to a yellow, mm -hmm. and then I'll grab three whites. And I've got a reroll token there, which should be fine. So I should be fit to do some damage. To mama. <laughs> yep. yeah, especially when you don't please. miss. There we go, have some more. You're going to re-roll the yellow? Yeah, I'll pay for the re-roll on the yellow. Actually, I'll roll these first and then yeah, decide. Right. That's right, so you're allowed to do that. So you're, oh, okay. You're at 11, I believe. Uh, 5, 10, 11. Yeah. Pay to re-roll that. If you get that 12, you've managed to do the magic number again and take out that location. Don't annoy oh, her. There it is, <laughs> more crits. Crit. There we go, more damage. Right, big damage. Okay, so you've done way past enough to get that full 12. So you're hitting her right in the face, right as well. So you're turning, yeah. you're hitting her right in the head yeah. with this thing. Boosh. So right bash, the, the head disappears in a in a spray yeah. of gore. I foresee no problems with this. <laughs> <laughs> and I get a two animus token. Yeah, everyone gets a plus two animus token. You take out the head, it's an important one, so you've gained some extra uh, tokens to help you out. Thank you very much. This round. Oh, whatever was she on. All right, and oh, then what's she going to do now? Here's the thing. So she's now on one HP left, so she goes straight to her um, final phase now. Uh -huh. She moves into oh. phase three. Yeah. And she's going to do a tail whip. Oh. Barb tail, thinking your leg comes around in a brutal arc. Here it Can comes. Can she hit her babies with that? Um, no, they know to duck. They know what mum's <laughs> like. <laughs> so she spins the fierce right. yeah, yeah, Unless yeah. wants to play the interrupt cards, we're going to have this. No, not right now. The flip comes in. And fortunately for everyone else in the in the, uh, in the free company, there's no one else in the in the arc here, so it's just going to be the um, the bear is going to be smacked. Yeah, well, knew the risks. So, yeah. And want to so, play a card? Yeah, I will. So I'll play it. It'll go into one, forcing these to here and this back to my hand. No, it doesn't cascade that one. So oh, right. They're all there at zero. This is okay. Okay, uh, so I've got defensive five. Oh, very Four. nice. Happy days. <laughs> Brilliant. So I do get flung straight back. You do, and the part of the problem is that you actually do knock into one of the rats there, so you stop at that case and both of you takes a HP loss, so although the rat knows to dodge, you don't, and you smack into the rat, you crush the rat under the bulk of your bear, <laughs> and both of you lose a HP. Okay, now I have no cards left. Yeah. So uh, is there any actions I can take now? Uh, when at the beginning of your turn, you'll get those cards at zero back into your hand, and that's it. So, so, was, so at the wait. moment, you're you're really hoping you don't get attacked again. Yeah. Okay. And those will stay. Those will stay. Those will stay. This is all fine. In fact, you do. There I you pay are. this token to rotate, and I can rotate those into my hand. You can. And I still have six. All right. So I'm going to pay four 
for iron hide. So it'll drop into one and push toss around. And then, so I get my yellow, which I'll upgrade to a red and a yellow. And then I'll grab four white dice. Okay, let's see if we can land this other one. Don't oh, he's just done it again, hasn't <laughs> <it? Six laughs> he? That's 11 with this two crits. Just one needed. Oh, and another crit. Give another one. 13. <laughs> Here it is. This is it. And another another crit. crit. Here it comes. This is a good finish. 15. 16. 16 damage. My nice. goodness. So that ah. final act of revenge, she hits you. You hit yeah. her right back with this massive two-handed axe. And you fall back and goes, no, no, no. We're not done here. <laughs> That's it. No, no one knocks that, back at us. That was so her other flank. And you crush the core. And so the core uh, No, no, the core was already yeah. crushed. That was her other flank. Oh, the other flank, sorry, is this one. Is it? Right, yeah. So she's um, absolutely completely mullered her and uh, yeah. took her out with that. Well done, bear. Two locations in one turn. Completely finish off a heroic, heroic great feat there by the bear. Yeah. Uh, um, and so you, you managed to kill her. You killed that rat. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, don't put it on. All right, so she's don't, gone. Go team us. Yeah. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, you guys, you managed to save the ranger's life yes. with a, a, a bit of intervention on the warden's part. Yeah. The uh, the priest managed to save the warden a few times there and yeah, managed yeah. to come together to completely tear yeah. this thing a new one. Yeah, <laughs> I, well, I mean, like, uh, at the end there, I was looking at it going, is there any way I can sort of play the combat flow system to actually get myself just that little bit more to pit me over the edge to finish the job? And I was just like, wait, this token that I haven't used the entire game. Ha ha! That's it. So everything's got its place. You can yeah, use it if you can gamify that and uh, maximize yeah. your combat efficiency. You did really well to do that. That was, that was impressive. Yeah. I'm sure we would have taken her down this turn anyway. Although we may have to, you know, sacrifice somebody to her. <laughs> <laughs> what, Peter the Priest, who's on six health? Yeah. Who's the only one who is undamaged right now? <laughs> He's not undamaged. Wrong. He's been doing something. I feel unusually weak standing beside you. Have <laughs> you been sapping the life from me? I can't remember <laughs> being hit that often. <laughs> and yet you seem to be fighting fit. Yeah, there's always a price, isn't there? There's always a I price. And everything. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you healed me. Struck the back of my neck and now I feel weak and unwell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're asking to go for a jog. Let's go for let's go for a jog. Let's go for a run. We'll run around Bastogne. Let's go for a swim in the deep wood. No, no, Chris, no. <laughs> you're actually a necromancer. Uh, I'm watching you in future. Possibly, probably. Maybe, yeah. maybe we'll see that as a stretch goal at some point. Absolutely. Justin, the necromancer, and Jerry, the warden. <laughs> so, congratulations, gentlemen. You managed mm. to fell the fell the brew mother you've been hunting that's been plaguing Bastone. Yeah. And yeah. Um, where we would go from here is we'd very quickly go back into the epilogue where we'd find out what happens in terms of rewards. Mm. So, um, just so you know, in, in terms of what happens here, you would gain a bunch of items. So, you mm. gained the, earlier in the story, we actually did it in good time. We'd gain yeah, three unique items. Bonus, yeah. So, we'd have gained three uniques from this particular ability, all, all um, yeah. with special abilities and stuff, plus a whole bunch of new common items you'd gain for the next chapter. Very um, cool. You'd also level up. So we don't really believe in XP here. We, we, we level up every time. If you kill this thing, you deserve to level up. So yeah. so we get, so we you'd have a level up where you'd gain new cards from your ability pool. You'd be able to choose new tokens and things like that as you go through. Yeah. Um, you progress with your character. And um, you'd actually also lose one of your items that you um, played during this round. So the, you actually as, as you've been battered around yeah. this thing and things would break mm -hmm. and you'd have to re be replacing items and changing out your loadouts as you go through. And um, that would finish the yeah. encounter. With that one, would you see what you're getting as a reward first? So you could go, oh, there's a bow there, therefore I don't mind if this bow goes yeah. away. Oh, exactly. there's some good armor there, yeah. I'll drop my armor and take that. Yeah, so you've got a little game. So you can, can yeah, you can tailor and, and tweak. And but it, it does give you a reason every time to go and visit the, uh, the Banksmith. Yeah. Which is interesting. Really fun game, I really enjoyed that. My spawny dice rolling came out at the end. It happens a lot to me where it's just the dice just go, ha, 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 everything. Magnets. Big <laughs> magnets under the table. That's a lie. It's not a lie, I, just watch. I'm going to Vegas someday, and I'm going to clean them out. <laughs> All right, everybody, get your comments in below. That was the battle mode for Oathsworn. Tons of fun from what I've seen. Uh, get the comments in. Make sure and check out the Kickstarter because this one looks like a fantastic game for you and your mates to play. We'll move on. We'll see you again another time. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.